Do you think Ignite has started a craze across the country, allowing young athletes to play professionally in the U.S.? But how does this team work? How much are these young athletes getting paid? And is college basketball in danger of losing all its great talent? We're going to be talking about all this and more, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and let's get into it. The Ignite team premiered in the 2021 G League season as it premiered players that are the top NBA prospects for the 2021 draft and also players that have been in the G League and have had professional careers in the NBA as well. It is designed as an alternate for college to allow these athletes to be able to make money and play basketball in the U.S. Because previously players that did not want to participate in college basketball had to go overseas to continue to play competitive basketball. And now these athletes are allowed to stay in the U.S. This is only a year long program because athletes have to wait one year before graduating high school or when they would have graduated high school to enter the NBA draft. And I've made an entire video on how the NBA draft works, when players are eligible and all the rules behind it. So make sure to check out the link down in the description below to check it out. The prospects are not tied to the NBA as they are not eligible yet, but the veterans and other players on the team are available to be picked up and moved to the NBA. The Ignite team plays alongside other G League teams and they are treated the exact same as others other than they cannot be signed with an NBA team. To learn more about how the G League works and how other players are paid in the G League, make sure to watch this video. I'll link it in the description as well because I talk about all that and some more. The reason why young men's basketball players are choosing this option is quite kind of obvious in my opinion. They're able to get played on their name and make money by playing basketball and growing their skills, which is not something you can currently do in college basketball. They are able to, yes, grow their skills and prepare for the draft, but they can't make money. Jalen Green shocked the entire men's basketball community when he decided to decommit from the University of Michigan and sign with the Ignite team, as it is estimated he made $500,000 in the one year he was on that team. This signing turned the NBA and basketball community in general upside down as he was some of the first players to venture off and choose this Ignite team that had never done anything before and took the chance. He said that this was an opportunity that aligned with him and he felt like it was the right idea. Jalen Green was not the only player who decided this route. Jonathan Kamanga signed for $500,000. Isaiah Todd signed for $250,000. Deshaun Nix, who is an ex-UCLA commit, signed for $150,000. And Prince of All Sign signed for $100,000. These athletes made up the inaugural G League Ignite team, and they set the platform for athletes coming behind them to also take on this adventure and choose the Ignite program. And athletes are signing before the NBA draft have even begun because the amount of excitement and notability that these athletes have gotten by being in this Ignite team has given younger athletes the chance and the want to do this as well. Because they have one, already seen that these athletes are making money in their professional careers before even getting to the NBA. They have seen that they have gotten brand deals and sponsorships already, and that they have developed skills and work directly with the people who are in the NBA. And yes, the draft has not happened yet, but these athletes have already gained so much stock and notability for just being on this Ignite team, things that are a little harder to come by when athletes travel overseas for that one season. And one of those athletes who have already decided to join the next G League Ignite team is Scoot Henderson, and he was a five-star recruit who everyone expected to go to one of the big names, but he signed with G League Ignite for an estimated $1 million. And this is why athletes are starting to look into going the professional path instead of the college path. The idea of college sports moving into a more for-profit business for the athletes instead of the schools and the entities are becoming more real as the name image likeness bill, also known as the NIL, is becoming passed in various states, but it's only been passed in five states already. Many college athletics departments are starting to implement programs to help athletes navigate the name and just likeness, but also keep them and give them opportunities to still want to come to college. As athletes, especially the ones playing men's college basketball, 
and know that they would only possibly spend one year in the NCAA are starting to venture off the path of college sports. To learn more about how men's professional basketball is changing in the United States through the NBA, check out the playlist I've linked down below and it talks about all the workings of the NBA. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video, which are on Mondays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Leave me a comment down below if you would like me to do a video about the one and done rule or anything you didn't already know about G League Ignite. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down because it's your thumb. And remember, don't be afraid to join the combo. Oh my God, this, this is, this is still recording. I like completely spaced out. Okay.